watching this video, then I'm sure you want to know all the news that we have received about the new Bleach game. Bleach yes, Rebirth yes, of yes, Souls, yes. including info about will the game actually be releasing on new consoles and the release date. I know you guys waited long enough, so let's get right into it. Bleach Rebirth of Souls will be produced by Bandai Namco. This was shown in the trailer and released on PS5, Xbox Series X and S, and PC. The game developer will also be made by Tam Soft. Tam Soft is also known for their arena fighters like Battle Arena Tozen games, but has also worked on many popular anime games such as Captain Tsubasa, Rise of the New Champions, Melty Blood, Type Lumina, and pretty much every single Senran Kage game that's out there. The sound composer for Bleach Rebirth of Souls is Takaru Ishimoto by Thrill Inc. I couldn't find anything about Thrill Inc. I believe they are just a different studio for different musical talent. Speaking of musical talent, the Bleach guitar performance that was shown during the Bleach trailer was by no other than Maya V, who also played Byaki Yakuchki in the live action Bleach movie back in 2018. For further information as well, because I know everybody wants to know, will this game be multiplayer? And if you go on the Bandai Namco website, the game also states that the game supports local and online multiplayer, but only up to two players as a maximum. The release date that surprised me the most on the Bandai website also stated that the game is going to release soon. So given that we just got a trailer as of yesterday on July 5th as of this video, my prediction is that the game will be out either around December or the start of January 2025. Mainly because most games release around three to six months after a trailer. But I don't think the game will release in October at all because the list of big online game titles such as Call of Duty, Assassin's Creed, is just too high during that month. If you go further down to the Bandai Namco page for the new Bleach game, there's a section of the website that also states a single strike can spell defeat for you or your opponent which means that most characters, if not all characters, have super attacks similar to Ultimate Jutsu, just like in the Naruto Storm games. But the next part of the article is the most interesting. It reads, overturn the tide of battle and unlock new forms and new blades to bring victory from the edge of defeat. This confirms that there are ways to unlock new battle forms in the game, like a transformation, just like how it was in the Bleach trailer. If you see normal Ichigo, then later you will also see him in his Bankai form, which means that's not an ultimate but in fact is a transformation the new blades part of the article from the reading probably means characters transform their zanpa toe effects like how rukia uses her shikai against renji in the trailer from earlier now if you look at the clip you actually do see that rukia in this moment is using her shikai from the very beginning it seems like she's not really going all out or it just seems like it's a special ability that she used there are also buffs from the game from what i believe if you go back to one minute and 40 seconds in the trailer you see renji with a blue aura after he uses attack that doesn't connect with Uryu but later in the trailer it actually does connect after he uses it. I believe this is a buff mainly because a couple seconds later you see Uryu also pull off what I believe to be a debuff which caused Renji to turn red after getting launched but if these are not debuffs or buffs they are at least special effects for characters when fighting. Speaking of special effects, this brings me to one more topic in the video, which I believe could be a special form of super attacks that all characters can use, and that is something called Soul Destruction that was shown during Ichigo vs. Byakuya and during Renji vs. Uryu in the Bleach trailer. I don't have much information on them right now, but seen in the trailer, they were only seen when both Byakuya and Renji use a super attack, so they can only be assumed either a special ability that characters can use or bonus damage. But tell me what you guys think about this one. Because from what I believe, it's definitely a special ability or maybe some form of disarmament. Like how Naruto, you can take off the gear that other characters have, such as like their clothing or different items that you put on the character. The last thing to go over is that it appears that the game's story as of right now will only follow up to the Soul Society arc based on the characters that were shown in the Bleach Rebirth of Souls trailer. But I personally believe that there will be more to the story, if not added as DLC for like the Thousand Year Blood War that they will add to the game. And lastly, Renji, Uryu, Kisuke Urahara, Yodorichi, Byakuya, Rukia, Chad, and Ichigo are confirmed as of right now to be in the game as playable characters for this new arena-based fighting game. And maybe Odahime because she is shown in the story mode as well. As of right now, that's all the information that we have about the new Bleach game, Bleach Rebirth of Souls. 
So if you guys want more information or more anime related content, then please don't forget to follow me for more videos just like this. And when more information comes out about the Bleach new game, I will definitely be the first one on YouTube to talk about it. But until next time, guys, stay safe, stay blessed, and as it out.